clear. Temperatures start the game probably around the 60s, probably below that before it's all said and done. Our officials tonight, referee Nick Rod Pate, also Matt Mescalangelo, the assistant ref, and David Elliott, and Nicholas Galk, the fourth official, as we are underway. Old Dominion, Old Dominions. Got the ball towards the West Virginia end. Monarchs trying to get some early offense here. Again, the gold drought goes on half from the VCU game and through the last two games against James Madison and the loss to Maryland. Game that Old Dominion's coach Alan Dawson admitted his team probably came out a little nervous. Maybe at the moment get to him a little bit, but then settled in. Played much better as the game went on, but a uh, tough one nothing result. And you'll see goalie Michael Statham play the ball a lot with his foot. He's a weapon back there. Really has given Old Dominion something they haven't had in the past from the goalie position. The freshman out of Stockport, England. Sent up deep giving a chase was Schmallback. Schmallback now has it. For the Mountaineers now. Team that likes to possess the ball. Dominated possession, time possession in most of their games. Held possession 50% of the time in seven of their 10 matches. And they're going to be tactical with the ball. Interesting to hear Mountaineers coach Dan Stratford say that Old Dominion is almost more dangerous without the ball. How quickly they can get it in transition. So throwing on the far side of the field for the Mountaineers. Bear plays it back. Dyke to Holy Kynan on uh, switch fields here to the near side. Teeson looking for options out on the far side of the field. Comes a run up. Hopefully the Monarchs collapse in defensively and clear it out. Couple minutes in here to the Sun Belt battle between Old Dominion and the West Virginia Mountaineers. First meeting since 2010, and just the seventh time the two schools have met in the last 30 years as well. Navarro, the man on, drops it back. Tolly Kynan. Gracia with the man on. He's up to Navarro. Navarro crosses it. Knocked away by Old Dominion, but Navarro with a chance drops it back off. Centering pass, though, is broken up by the Old Dominion defense. There's Jenkins for Old Dominion. They're leading score, Tristan Jenkins. Graduate student out of Wales. Number 11, we'll be talking about him a lot tonight. Freddie Jorgensen. Now he's going to play it back to Thiessen. Changes fields with it. Gracia. Gracia again, this time finds his man. Now attacking up the right side, Navarro, but he gets it taken away. Good defense by Fabian Reeser. Reeser a little heavy with that, and now loses it. Again, Mountaineers possession team, they're gonna be very precise with what they do. Been out shooting opponents a lot of their matches. Did some tough results. Double figures in shot attempts in eight of their 10 matches this season. Trying to put a little pressure on them defensively, but now with the run, Navarro drops it off. Put back on the spot there for Old Dominion. Possession kept by the Mountaineers. About 
Five minutes into this one, scoreless game. Old Dominion. There's a turnover, and there's a shot, and that's going to be wide opportunity there. Ooh. Caldero, Marcus Caldero suddenly had an opportunity and missed wide to the left. Got a couple of assists in the season. Has not scored the freshman out of Ontario, Canada. It's a new goal kick coming up for the Monarchs. Michael Statham, as we mentioned before. What a strong start to his career here. He's played all nine games. He's had four shutouts. Ranks 24th nationally in saves, fifth nationally in save percentage. And his coach, Alan Dawson, pointed out as a weapon with the ball in his foot. He's trying to get everybody set up before taking the goal kick. Low kick. Headed ahead by the Monarchs, trying to get it. Possession. I've not had much possession here so far. It's pretty much been the Mountaineers possessing the soccer ball thus far. Only kind of plays it back to Gracia. Only kind of now is going to send it across down the left wing, far side of the field. Giving Chase Deans for the Monarchs. They're going to say last touch by Old Dominion. So corner kick coming up. First opportunity for either team with a corner. Mm -hmm. Referee stopping. They're going to time out on the field. Checking. Changing soccer balls here. Didn't like that ball. Here comes the corner. It's a good one bending towards an effort. Right on the spot was Statham. Statham handles it no problem. Rolls it out. Old Dominion. Again, has not had a whole lot of possession time here trying to get something strong together here. Tyson plays it back to Bonaire. Bonaire is getting a start tonight. His first career start in college. Redshirt sophomore out of Warrington, Virginia. Mark Bonaire. Did not play last year. Was redshirted his freshman year. In because of an injury to Jackson Lee, who had played all the games so far and been so good for West Virginia to start this season. So big opportunity for Bonaire tonight, of course. So far has not really been tested by Old Dominion. I'm going to say throw in for the Monarchs. Jan Marp will throw it in for ODU number three, the sophomore from Germany. St. Mary's California transfer. Mountaineers clear it out, sending it up the left wing, trying to. Old Dominion doing a good job. Not giving him much room over there. Now Old Dominion trying to get on the attack. The right side, but really good defense in the back end from the Mountaineers. The scoreless game, about nine minutes in. Some ball action here on ESPN Plus. Gracia with some time. Gets it over to Navarro. Tyson now pushes it ahead to Dromers. Dromers dumps it off to the left wing. Coming around the corner. There's a cross, and Statham somehow kicks it away, and then there's a shot, and the rebound goes in. Rebounded goal. Looks like Calderia, Marcus Calderia, number seven with the goal for the West Virginia Mountaineers. So Calderia gets the Mountaineers on the board, his first goal of the season. And it comes at the 36-02 mark, and Statham is still on the ground after that collision. The Old Dominion goalkeeper. See what his status is here in a minute, but Calderia 
able to get the deflection in. So West Virginia, as we mentioned, coming in here. That six game winless streak, trying to get things back and get on the board off a rebound to make it one nothing. Statham still being looked at by the Old Dominion trainer. So Michael Statham. Looks like they're working on his left side, hard to see. Left knee is up. Statham on his feet as they're looking at him. Both teams being pulled off the field at the moment as the trainer continues to work with the Old Dominion goalie. Michael Statham who on that rebound might have gotten run into letting him walk it off to see how he is. So just under nine minutes in it's a one nothing Mountaineers lead. like the left leg was Statham they're looking at the most. So Dominant Hankel, I believe, would be the next man up in goal. If he's out, looks like he's trying to stay in, but. So the assist on the Marcus Caldera goal will be number 24 with the assist. Adam Virgil gets the assist. And also they're crediting number 17. Yutira Toscata with the other assist. Get a little bit of delay here as they look at Michael Statham a little bit longer for Old Dominion. He's stretching out that left side. And again, if Old Dominion has to make a goal change, it would be Dominic Hankel, who was warming up briefly on the sideline, still bouncing the ball over there, getting ready just in case. But I think Statham's going to stay in for the time being. And again, one nothing game. West Virginia with the first goal. So the home team down. The West Virginia goal was scored by number seven, Marcus Caldera. So one nothing Mountaineers. And there's going to be a foul just across midfield as Old Dominion's, you know, the small back takes the worst of it. So do you? We get Lewis Beckett, who they love on these dead balls, but they just haven't had a lot of opportunities with him. There's Beckett, point it back to Reeser. Reeser trying to make a run. Drops it off to Marp. Sends it ahead, but headed out by the West Virginia defense. Jan Marp, though, keeping it in. Beckett gives chase, can't get to it. There's a long shot that's going to be wide from Christensen. Samuel Mark Christensen gave it a big boot, but that'll be a goal kick coming up for the Mountaineers. So far, Mark Bonaire, the first time starter in goal, has not uh, seen any shots on goal yet.
Mountaineers giving him an early 1-0 lead. Oh, Jesus, first game jitters. Caldaria, who already had the goal. That far side of the field, on the near side. As they get it over to Navarro. Navarro with the left foot across, headed out by the Monarchs. Gracia drops it back to Thiessen. Gracia sends it up to Caldera, gets ahead on it. Giving chase off that right side was Burchell, who was given the assist earlier. It's going to be a throw in here coming up for the Mountaineers. Olkinen. back. Tromers sends it up the left wing, but taken away momentarily by the Marks, but kept by the Mountaineers. Change field with it. ODU now with the takeaway. Sending it ahead. Bonaire will have it easily. After Joshua Fox booted it ahead. Excuse me, that Rudy Owen. There's a cross that's going to go wide. So Old Dominion with a goal kick coming up. Michael Statham, who looks to be okay, stayed in the game after that collision on the goal about four minutes ago. See how he moves here, addressing the soccer ball. Statham now is going to boot it out of his own end. Ruddy went for the head, missed it. Last touch by the Mountaineers. Old Dominion throw it here on midfield, right in front of the tent. Played back to Marp, sent it forward. Tristan Jenkins. Not had a lot of opportunities here so far. Monarch's top goal scorer, number 11. Given Chase is, is kicked away by Bonaire. This man, Deer, trying to track it down. That old Dominion off the right side. Plays it back. 31-35 to go, one nothing. Mountaineers lead. Some belt action here on ESPN Plus. Reeser is going to dribble with it. Tries to thread the needle, but taken away by the Mountaineers. Now on the counter. Here comes West Virginia again. Purcell drops it off. There he is again. Caldaria with another chance and another goal. Marcus Caldaria, again from Purcell, number 24 to number seven, makes it two nothing. And this one comes about five minutes in on the dot from the last one. West Virginia goal scored by number seven, Marcus Caldera, the assist to Adam Virgil. So Caldera with two goals. And two assists from Birchall. Now Statham back on the ground. He might need to be looked at again, and this could be it for him. Dominic Henkel is now coming to the table to check in. So we'll get the first look at the Monarchs' backup goalie. Dominic.
Mike Hankel will come in, the sophomore from Virginia Beach, went to Killam High School nearby. Hankel is yet to play this season. Dominic Hankel will replace Michael Statham. Substitution for Old Dominion. Number 24, Dominic Hankel. Goalkeeper change again for number one, Michael Street. So 31 02 to go in this first half. Mountaineers on top thanks to a pair of goals. Marcus Calderia, the freshman, his first two goals of the season. And Old Dominion with a goal change. First time we've seen Dominic Henkel on the season, the sophomore from Virginia Beach. ODU's got to get some answers here in a hurry down two early goals to West Virginia. Again, Old Dominion with this scoreless drought they've been in since the second half of that BCU game that is carried over into their last two games. So you're talking about five halves of soccer now without scoring a goal. That's going to be a pusher behind on the Monarchs. Oli Kynan, Otto Oli Kynan will take it. Sends it over to Thiessen. Thiessen with some space, drops it off to the left side. A lot of possession here from the Mountaineers, we'd expect coming in. They have been playing a strong game so far here in the first 15 minutes here in Norfolk. Coming down to the near side is Navarro been part of a lot of this action early for the Mountaineers. Thiessen now sends it off to the left wing. Got his man onside there. Good defense being played by Deans. He's able to get it away for the Monarchs. Mondahar. Or Mandir, excuse me, playing it back. Reeser tries to send it through, but taken away by Gracia. Tyson back over to Gracia. Sent ahead. Marcus Calderia again. Man has already got two goals. Drops it back. Dromers going to send it back. Mountaineers trying to get it up the right side, but it's a little heavy and out of bounds. Old Dominion substitution, number 21, Nicola Misaroli, in for number 19, Ron Ruddy. So when Ruddy goes out, and number 21, Nicola Misarelli comes in for Old Dominion. Early substitution here for Alan Dawson, looking for some answers. Misaroli, See right there, 21, giving chase, gets the worst end of that one, but draws a penalty. I think it's going to get a card, perhaps. We'll see. Referee stops. He's going to warn him. Just a warning, no card. Tell him, don't extend the elbow. So Old Dominion around midfield, just shy of midfield. We'll get the free kick, Lewis Beckett. Usually takes the dead balls for the Monarchs, freshman. He's going to choose to drop it back. Try to get a possession going here. 
Again, the Mountaineers have been pretty relentless with the pressure so far. Hankel, this first touch, kicks it ahead. How much has worked for Old Dominion so far here? 2-0, 27 minutes. Clock moving in here in this first half of play. Mountaineers on top. Mark throwing it in for the Monarchs. Justin Jenkins had it for a moment. Jenkins back, trying to still get it back for Old Dominion. And that's going to be off last touch by Beckett for ODU. So throwing coming up here for the Mountaineers. Only kind of gets it in. Marcel has it taken away. There's a deep send. Given chase is Tristan Jenkins, ODU's top scorer. But handled easily by Gracia. Played it back to Von Air. And over to Tyson, who slipped on it for a second, was able to recover. Here comes Purcell, who has made a lot happen here. Two assists so far. He sends another one in. And that's going to be through again to Calderia, but this time they're going to get him for being offside. As the nearby, the near side linesman flagged it right away. But boy, Marcus Calderia almost had an opportunity to get that hat trick here early in this game. But just was offside, as we see here on the replay. That was close. So call goes ODU's way. Certainly they could use a break here, also could use some offense. Down 2-0, 25-32 in. Another takeaway, Navarro. Got nowhere to go, so he drops it back to Bear. Bear retreats with it. Tisa now with a touch, back to Bear. Move it back to Gracia. Here comes Purcell. The two assists, drops it off to Calderia. They've done some good work together so far. Tyson finds his wing over there on the far side of the field. Trying to get that cross knocked away by Old Dominion. But West Virginia comes away with it. Holy Cannon. Leaving it for Gracia, back to Thiessen. Thiessen thought about trying it to the left side again. That was the side the first goal came from. Mark Bonaire has yet to see a shot on goal in his first ever collegiate start. There goes Caldari again with the ball, but has to retreat with it. Navarro looking to attack. Got a couple defenders around him, taking it away, and then looking for a whistle, and he gets it. So the tackle called a foul on ODU, and the referee's going to mark it off. So they get Beckett. It looks like Frederick Jurgensen is getting ready to tee it up. Or will he take it? Jurgensen over there with the ball along with Dion Dromers. Dromers may actually address this number six. And it is going to be Dromers who bends it towards the goal, but a little high. Wow. Shot a little high off the mark. So Dominic Henkel just watched it go over the post, go over the crossbar. He bent it in just a little bit too high. The right idea. Old Dominion now trying to Possess the ball. We got a push, I believe, yes, on West Virginia. Women is not a lot of possession time here so far. And not any real quality offensive chances either. So we're halfway into this first half of play. 2 0 Mountaineers.
Trying to run through it. There's Jenkins crossing it. There's a header, and oh, knocked away, headed out. Jenkins got the cross, the head, though. Was not able to come through for ODU. There's Marp now, the left side. Drop it off for Schmalbach. Back to Beckett. Beckett's going to change fields with it. Gets over to Deans. Deans making the run up the right side. Sends it ahead. That was Eberly who had it taken away. Ref says play on after the collision. The longest possession time we've seen for the Monarchs so far. We'd only got one real chance out of it. Michael Eberly on that right wing. A little miscommunication. He thought Mandir was going to make the run, send it ahead, and Mandir wasn't running. ODU keeps possession. And it's taken away by the Mountaineers, but laid a little heavy. So Old Dominion should be able to run this one down and try to get reorganized. Down a pair of goals early. Sunbelt soccer action here Saturday night with you in Norfolk. Ball being sent towards Schmalbach. Can't run through it, but Mandir is able to run through it. Last touch by Mandir, they're going to say, for only Old Dominion. Mandir, the sophomore out of New Zealand. Started all nine games for ODU. Now, another saying that it changed the call. It's Old Dominion throwing. Correction. Beckett crosses it, but... Bonaire with his first chance, Bonaire rather, with his first chance able to bring it in. Mark Bonaire, the again, first time starter, sophomore. Redshirt sophomore for the Mountaineers. Played club ball for Virginia Development Academy. And Fauquier High School. Mountaineers here in Dencarasia. Trying to send it up that left side again. They've had a lot of success going that way. They drop it off, but headed away by Old Dominion's Christensen. Throwing coming up for the Mountaineers. Under 19, coming up on the 19 minute mark left here in this first half. Couple early tallies from West Virginia's Marcus Calderia, the difference. Adam Purcell, who got the start tonight. I mean, again, two leading scores are out for the Mountaineers tonight. They've come out and scored two quick goals. This one up the left side and chased down. Defense being played by Old Dominion's back end over there with Dean. Get in the mix. Old Dominion now substituting number seven, Liam Thomas. It's coming in for Michael Eberly. Old Dominion substitution, number seven, Liam Thomas, in for number 16, Michael Eberly. Got a whistle. Foul on Old Dominion, so a free kick coming up for the Mountaineers. Referee marked it, wants to be very precise about where it is played from. And just joining us, a couple goals from Marcus Caldera for West Virginia, a couple assists from Adam Burcell, and Old Dominion's goalie, Michael Statham, who has been terrific this year, fifth nationally in save percentage, left the game with an injury, so Dominic Hankel the sophomore in for the first time this season. Now a goal. A lot of time being taken here to 
get this very precise spot. So Frederick Jurgensen, the lefty, will dress it, bends it towards the goal, goes through. There's a West Virginia player there with a shot that's going to be just wide. Whoa. Thiessen, Bjarne Thiessen came up, the defender. He was a little surprised he got the shot. He's got a goal this year. Thiessen, a all Sun Belt preseason honors. Also a several preseason All-American list as well. It was all MAC last year when the Mountaineers were in the MAC. Comes Hankel's goal kick, a deep one. Well, the minute again given Chase has not been able to have sustained possessions with offense in this game so far. In one-way traffic so far for West Virginia. Gracia sends it up. Headed by Old Dominion Beckett. Plays it back to Cirelli. And now Henkel over to Beckett. Beckett trying to get it ahead. Coming up the side, Marp making a run. The left wing is able to get it in. There's a cross. Here's a shot opportunity and low shot and blocked away. Bonaire does a good job to get a hand on it after Mandir got the shot off. Couldn't get a lot on it, but he had the right angle. So corner kick coming up for Old Dominion. They quickly start it. Beckett centers it. Here's a chance for the shot, and that's going to be wide and going to be a goal kick. Liam Thomas, who just checked in, got the shot off, but it was just a little wide. Trying to go right post. There's a lot of traffic up front through the Mountaineers. And did a good job clogging it up after the corner. Bonner with a high goal kick. Headed back by the Monarchs. Are you trying to get something? Sustained offensively, but here comes Navarro up the right side. He stops, drops it back. Holy kind of played it back to the goalie. Bonaire now up the left side. West Virginia will try it again. They've had some success going this direction. Now they retreat. Back again to Gracia. Gracia looking for some options. Finds Bear. Bear turns with it. Captain plays it up the left wing. Making the run was Tromer, so they couldn't get it there as it's knocked away by Old Dominion. But Throwman coming up. Ituro just got it. Couldn't quite get it through to Dromers, who was serious about making a run. And here comes Navarro. He's going to stop. Drop it back. Holy Kynan does it knock away. Gracia was there. Here comes Thiessen again, sending it up that left side. And they're going to get an offside. Yes, they do. So they're going to get Ituri Toscata offside on that left wing. So 13 25 left in this first half. 2 0 West Virginia. Leading Old Dominion. Old Dominion's replacement goalie, Dominic Hankel, in the game will take the free kick after the offside call. Hankel with a high one that's going to get up there and head it ahead by Mountaineers. I'm going to go to Old Dominion. Throwing. So 
Talking about Toscata came out of that with the ball. Tyson plays it over. Again, it's Purcell, who this time has it taken away. Purcell's got a couple of assists early. Soroli had it for a second for Old Dominion. Beckett now. Play it back to Hankel. Hankel with the man running on. He's already got two goals. Marcus Caldero quickly boots it away. Good job. It's West Virginia is a little bit faster than the ball tonight. Someone's going to go in the stands, and I think we're going to get a foul on Beckett. West Virginia with the free kick right in front of the Old Dominion bench. Otto Alikainen will take it. Plays it back to Bjarne Thiessen. Jurgensen plays it to Gracia. Gracia once again with it on his foot. To quickly change fields to Bear. Jurgensen ahead on that left side. But taken away by Liam Thomas. Thomas is trying to push it. Can't keep it. Mountaineers in the back end have been tough. They've not let a whole lot get by. Again, coming in this game as a team that dominated possession. Not much has changed there. Beckett sent it deep as Liam Thomas gives chase, but that's going to be too heavy. And it's going to be a Mountaineer throwing. We're going to get a sub coming in right now West for the Virginia Mountaineers. West Virginia substitution, number 16, Max Tressaway, in for number 20, Sergio Orzabal. So Max Trethway in for the first time. Sophomore at Charleston, West Virginia. Places Navarro. Sergio Ors Navarro. Gonna sit down. Sir, back to Marp. Okay, the Mountaineers doing a good job, not giving over to you much space here. Marp, though, running for that one, only runs into his own man is Jenkins, and he kind of got tied up for a second. Mr. Roley quickly pushes over the right wing where Liam Thomas is. Thomas crosses it, but a Mountaineer was there to poke it away. Mr. Roley is giving the Monarchs a lot of energy. He's one of their first subs, Nicola Mr. Roley. ball here. Good job by ODU to get it back, but Mountaineers again just there every time. And we're going to get a whistle behind the play, and I think we might get a uh, referee's going to try to stop this. He's going to talk to Mr. Relly. I don't know who the penalty's going to be on. Looks like it's going to go against Old Dominion. Officials talking to both players. Talking to Ryan Bear and also Miss Arelli for Old Dominion. No cards out of that exchange. Tyson plays it over. Ball last touch by the Mountaineers.
Purcell been everywhere. Trethway who just came back in the game. Aaron Deans for Old Dominion. Gonna play it back. Change fields here with maybe and Reeser with some space. Reeser trying to send it ahead on the right side with Liam Thomas. Quickly headed away. The back end by West Virginia's Jurgensen. That one's headed. Holy Cannon stays in bounds. Somehow coming away from it for ODU, ODU and tripped. Schmalbach. So Old Dominion with an opportunity outside of the box. If Beckett will take it. Now Dawson says they really like Beckett on these set pieces. They just haven't had a lot of opportunities with them. We've been injured Mountaineer on the ground. That's Otto Olikainen, number eight, who's on the ground, stretching out right now. 7-0-1 left in this first half. 2 nothing Mountaineers as they stop the clock to tend to the injured player. So West Virginia will sub out Oli Kynan, who's on the ground, with Alex Clayton, number two. So Alex Clayton, who's a Richard sophomore, out of from New Zealand. We'll replace Ole Kanan when he comes out. Ole Kanan is up. And he's going to walk over the field and get looked at some more. But meanwhile, Alex Clayton will check in for the first Mountaineer time. substitution number two, Alex Clayton. And for number eight, Otto Ole Kanan. Old Dominion with Beckett. Outside of the box, tries to bend it towards the goal, and nobody for ODU can get ahead on it. A couple Mountaineers headed out, though. Still being contested. There's a shot that's going to be high from Old Dominion. It's number eight. Make the number nine. The shot was from Jonas Schmalbach. West Virginia substitution. Number nine, Ciro Borlat Yegi in for number 17, Mitaro Sakata. So Sirio Borlaat Yagi comes in. He's played in all nine games this year for the Mountaineers. Or should have played nine out of the ten, I should say. Junior from Santa Fe, Argentina. Replacing Toscata, who was one of the was an assist on that first goal. From Calderio. There's Beckett. Dominion trying to get some offensive zone time. Have not had a lot of it. Have not had a lot of possessions either. Down a pair of goals here in this first half of play. Some belt action. West Virginia Mountaineers leading it two nothing. Trying to end a six game winless streak. And ODU is going to get the free kick. Again, Beckett will get ready to. Tee it up for ODU. So West Virginia puts a wall up in front of Beckett. Beckett pointing. Trying to tell his teammates what to do. Here he goes, addresses the ball right in front of the goal mount. There's a head, but oh, right on the spot is Mark. Bonaire with his big paws up making a save. 6'3 sophomore. Been making his first start tonight. But was able to handle that head rather easily. Now he boots it out here to the near side, headed by Old Dominion's Jan Marp on the back end. Reeser giving chase. Collides with his own teammate. Reeser's down. We'll to get the worst end of that one. They're calling the trainer out right away. It's Reeser. I think some 
Samuel, Mark Christensen, and Reeser both had to, went to head the ball at the same time and collided. With Reeser getting the worst end of it. So Old Dominion, in addition to being down a couple of goals, also down some players tonight. First, Michael Statham left the game after the second goal. He was injured on the first goal, stayed in for a while, but certainly was not 100%. And now Fabian Reeser, I believe, is the injured player number four for Old Dominion. He took in the head. So immediately the official stopped action to call for the trainer. So 429 left here in this first half. Again, to recap, the Mountaineers' two goals, both scored by Marcus Calderia. The first one, 36-02 in the first half. And then five minutes later, 31-02, got the second. Both the goals assisted by number 24, Adam Bursell, for the Mountaineers. Slowly, they're lifting up Fabian Reeser. So they're going to sub in Joshua Fox, number 18 for Reeser. Joshua Fox will get in the game here. The freshman from Orlando, Florida. Titusville High School. Maybe in Reeser getting help to his feet. And it's cheering as Reeser gets walked off with the assistance of the trainers. Hate to see that. The uh, freshman from Innsbruck, Austria. Started all nine games for ODU. Assistant coach and trainer help him off. All Dominion substitution number 18, Joshua Fox, and four number four, maybe a reason. And we're back underway, West Virginia, on the restart. Bjorn Thiessen and Gracia playing a little two man game here. Now they get organized. Gracia is going to dribble it towards midfield and passes it ahead. Right now, the Mountaineers okay with just playing a little keep away with a two goal lead. Dromer sends it off the left wing. Gracia. Again, pushing the action ahead. Over here to the near side, there's going to be a chance and a cross, but it's kicked away. It's Trethway on the right wing who had the opening for a moment. But uh, quickly, you did a good job retreating. Another off the ball foul on the Monarchs. Ryan Bear quickly gets it restarted. Frederick Jurgensen carries it now. He changes directions, brings it back to Bear. Back to Jurgensen. Jurgensen now going to set up the left side. Dromers now retreating with it. Gracia. Gracia over here on the right side drops it off to. Clayton, now Gracia will get it over to be Yarn Thiessen. Thiessen carries it. Back to Bear, to Gracia. Clayton changing fields with it. 
The Artisan stops with it. Big 6-5, Redshirt Jr. Gracias looking for options now. Pushes the head to the right side to Purcell. Purcell's got two assists today. Gets it over to Trethway. Trethway plays it back, taken away by the Monarchs, and out late whistle. Old Dominion faithful don't like the call, but they're going to get Karan Mandir for the trip. The official now stopping the clock with 1.36 to go. Now he's going to bring Mandir over. See if he... Just going to talk to him. No cards. 136 to go. Mountaineers, the free kick coming up. It's going to be Jurgensen and Dromers both standing the ball. Last time they did this, Dromers ended up taking it. Dion Dromers sends it towards a goal, kind of chipped away by ODU, but kept the possession alive by the Mountaineers, Jurgensen. But he has it taken away. Dominion able to get away from that for a moment, but Bear now will run underneath and play it back to Mark Bonaire, the goalie. Far side of the field, Old Dominion's Jonas you know, Schmalbach was able to knock it off One minute, the Mountaineers minute. defender, so Old Dominion will get the throw in. Now the official's going to stop the clock for a second as the ball was kicked away. So about 56 seconds to go as the clock now restarts. 2-0 West Virginia in this first half of play here. Sunbelt action. Ball headed into the street. Stay with Old Dominion as the clock moves towards the final seconds of this first half. It's been all Mountaineers for the 2-0 lead. There's a high cross. Thomas tries to run underneath, but it's headed away by Clayton. For West Virginia, as the clock ticks towards 20 seconds left in this half, ODU with the throw in, trying to pick up the urgency a little bit, but turned over by the Monarchs. Ten, nine, Down eight, to the final seconds seven, here this first half. Six, it looks like the Mountaineers five, will four, take three, a two goals two, to nothing lead one. into the locker room. And thanks to a pair of Marcus Calderia goals, that's where we stand right now at the half. It's West Virginia 2, Old Dominion nothing. We will step aside. We'll take a timeout, come back with some halftime festivities here as timeout to Maryland on the road and then had the draw before that against James Madison. And their Sunbelt home opener. West Virginia will have the kickoff to start the second half. Of course, they've possessed the ball throughout this game as Thiessen sends it ahead. And this left side has been really good. This is where a lot of the actions come from from West Virginia's left wings. And it's Toscata, number 17, that has been a real catalyst. Of course, Purcell, Caldera. That hurts Old Dominion giving chase. Trying to make something happen. Offensively is Tristan Jenkins, their leading scorer. Jenkins now turns the corner, crosses it. Headed by Mandir, though, didn't get anywhere. Couldn't get enough on it. The defense in the back end by the Mountaineers. It's Jenkins did a good job to get it towards a goal mouth. Again, ball being sent down to Jenkins. Heads it back. Looks like Old Dominion's also put in Alexis Lamontang here in the second half. Number 12 is starting the second half for ODU. I think I say that's out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick coming up for West Virginia. So coming up with a goal kick will be Mark Bonaire.
surveys the offense. Deep kick up the right side. Controlled now by the Mountaineers. They'll try the right side. Taken away by Old Dominion to the back end. Sent forward. Good job by Thiessen to run it down. We're going to get a whistle before that. They're going to get a push in Old Dominion. And you're going to Eberle for using his hands trying to get behind the defender. And that is the call. So it could have been potential Old Dominion corner. That was a free kick here for the Mountaineers. So Gracia over here to Jurgensen. On the near side, Jurgensen gets it off to, to Scotta. Last touch by the Monarchs, a throw in coming up for West Virginia. Dromers comes through there, ball hit his hand. They say play on. Quickly Old Dominion off the throw in, trying to make something happen. Back, Christensen gives it a chase for ODU. Christensen going to send it up that left side to Emberly. Can't get there. So that was Mandir giving chase. Booted ahead. Now Christensen though has it run off. Now quickly dropped off. No call. So play on. Purcell crosses it and scores it. Adam Purcell is the two assists. That was the goal. Looked like everybody thought there was going to be a potential offside, and Purcell just outran it, everybody. So Purcell with the goal. The 41 40 mark here of the second half. Players are looking at hands up. Though you kept running, which is Purcell. Give him credit, outrunning everybody. And the assist coming up from Dion Dion Dromers. Dion Dromers dropped it off for him. As you look at it again, it's just Purcell, good hustle. He just kept running for it. There was one player looking for the offside flag. Everybody else was still in pursuit, dropping back for Old Dominion, but Dromers just put it where only Purcell could get to it. And now to go along with that assist, there's two assists, he has a goal. So three nothing here for the Mountaineers. Marcus Caldera had the two first half goals, Calderia rather, and now start the second half, the guy who assisted both those, Adam Bursell has scored. and plays it over on the far side right wing. Bear trying to send it up that side. And it's going to be last touch by the Mountaineers. Old Dominion's hole got a little bit bigger here in this early part of the second half. Got to play it back to Jurgensen. Thiessen changes fields with it over to Gracia. Gracia has some space. Playing it ahead to Purcell. Just scored a few moments ago. Holy Kynan. To Dromers. Here comes Toscata. Drops it off. Making the run and crossing there. Nobody home, but no. Foot on it and saved by... Dominic Hankel. For a minute there, it looked like there was a harmless cross, and all of a sudden, West Virginia player was able to get a foot on it, but Hankel covers it up. As Jurgensen made the run up from the left side back position. Hey, can we mark that save so when Junior Day comes around, I got a little shot of that guy? Mountaineers in control here, 3-0. Just 
Just five and a half minutes into the second half. Looking for their first Sun Belt win. Mandir pushed from behind by Purcell. So Old Dominion will get the free kick coming up. Beckett will take it for Old Dominion. So he just drops it off. Dean sent it towards the goal mouth. Can anybody get to it? No, not from Old Dominion at least. But it's headed out of bounds by West Virginia. So corner coming up. As Gracia didn't know what was behind him, so he played it safe rather than sorry. Now Beckett will try to take the corner. It's a quick start, though. And quickly, West Virginia defenders on all over that. Old Dominion gets a throw in. Ball deflected off the Monarchs. We'll be a Mountaineer throwing. As Adioli Cannon. You know, Cannon gets it in. Pass the head. Here comes. Romers, no, nope. taken away by Old Dominion. A little heavy with that one for the Monarchs. And Thiessen plays it back to Bon Air, back to Thiessen, who sends it across the right side. A lot of space, a lot of time for Ole Cannon, who then sends it off. Romers crosses, and there's a shot and saved by Hankel. Good left footed shot there from Deion Dromers, but Hankel all over it. Hankel punts it away. Bear for West Virginia. Able to come away with it. Trying to set it up that right side was Navarro. But had it chipped away, but still won West Virginia possession. So they now retreat a little bit. To Scotta trying to get the corner. Can he cross it? He does, but Henkel dives all over it. So he had a man coming in on that right wing. He was trying to get it to was Purcell. But Jid replacement goalie for Old Dominion does a nice job. Dominic Hankel preventing that from happening. So Hankel now goes to the edge of the box. Now he backs up a little bit. Getting ready to punt it away. Beckett now played back. Deans stops, gives it back to Beckett. Beckett's going to send it towards the goal mouth, headed by a Mountaineer defenseman. Boy Kynan, who got a head on it. Here's another cross from Old Dominion. Mandir got his head on it, but just couldn't direct it towards the goal. They're going to say last touch by the Mountaineers. So corner coming up for Old Dominion. No to use not really sent one in here on the corners. Beck has chosen to do these short kicks. Been interesting so far. Let's see, this time it looks like he's going to try to put it in the goal mouth. They got a lot of size up there to the Monarchs. See if they can get some traffic out front. Here's a good one from Beckett, but headed backwards by the Mountaineers. Like Dromers, number six, might have got his head on it. Throw it for the Monarchs. ODU's got some subs coming in. Liam Thomas is coming in. 
Liam Thomas would come in at number seven. Gavin Doran is going to come in, the freshman from Virginia Beach. So do you try to get some fresh players in there as Tristan Jenkins sits down. Big throw it. Schmalmach and Jenkins. Schmalbach and Jenkins leave. So Doran and Liam Thomas in now. Wow, Old Dominion chasing that and just an air it by Bone Air. See if they can keep the heat on here, trying to get some offense going. Big throw from Deans towards the goal mouth. Dorn chasing it, Thomas, or excuse me, uh, Mandir up with it. Try to get some momentum with it, couldn't get the head. Aaron heads there. Here comes Toscata again. Sends it off to Navarro. Navarro has it taken away, and it's going to be a corner coming up for the Mountaineers. So who will take it? It looks like Jan Marp will come up. Excuse me, uh, Frederick Jurgensen will come up and take it for the Mountaineers. So Jurgensen up against the fence, lefty. He's got Gracia down there. He's got Dromers. There's a head on it. And good save by Hankel. Punched away as Dromers got a head on it. Dromers gets a shot and scores. After the deflection and save by Hankel, Dromers, Dion Dromers gets it. And the assist will go to Gracia. So 4 nothing game. Mountaineer goal scored by number six. As Dion Dromers. It's his second of the season. Four nothing ball game. Mountaineers, they're trying to break out in a big way tonight. That windless drought, very much in control here in Norfolk. Done the Monarchs here tonight in this first meeting since 2010. Again on the attack, Dromers drops it off, and there's a cross wall that gets by Hankel. Still possessing. Toscata slips. Might have hurt himself too. Right, boy, I think he might be injured. Coming up this way is Dean's for Old Dominion. And at the other end of the field, lays down. Yaturi Toscata did not look good. Cross to Dorn for Old Dominion. Dorn passes it over. And Old Dominion to retreat again. West Virginia just trying to get the ball to bounce, but uh, good news is this far end of the field where Toscata had gone down, he's walked, got up for a second, I should say, and then he fell back down. He started walking away. Yaturi Toscata, then he's giving the ball chase in the corner. Uh, his leg kind of gave out on him funny. Got caught in the turf. Did not look good. So with 31 minutes left here in the second half and a 4-0 West Virginia lead, we have a timeout on the field as Mountaineers training staff is out there. 10. Tending to the junior from Tokyo, Japan, Yuturo Toscata.
is a West Virginia team that came into the night not exactly the picture of health, missing their two leading scorers. Ryan Cooks and Luke McCormick, and goalie Jackson Lee also out tonight, but talk about the next man up mentality, they've had it. So Max Trethway will come back in the game, number 16, replacing number 17, Yuturi Toscata. Old Dominion now trying to make something happen. Off into Doran chases, and it's kicked away by the Mountaineers. to have a throw in coming up. A lot of discussion going here with the referee. I don't know exactly what's going on. He's Thomas heads it forward for Old Dominion. And quickly poked away by the Mountaineers. Tromers. <laughs> a little bit of a collision there on Purcell. Not the only thing those two guys have been crossed up on tonight. As Thiessen now plays it back. Bonaire will push it over to Gracia. Well, he kind of almost turns it over, but quickly Tyson boots it ahead. Under 30 minutes left here in regulation, and it's been all Mountaineers for nothing. Over Old Dominion tonight here, Sunbelt soccer action. So do you get the free kick here. Beckett, just drop it off. To Fox, who... Plays it over to Deans. Deans gets ahead to Dorn. He's fighting for it, and might have fought for it a little bit too much. He's Dorn with the hands there. So West Virginia happily taking their time here. The four goal lead is B.R. and Thiessen will tee it up. Preseason all Sun Belt. Some All American honors as well from the preseason. You can see it why this big 6'5 defenseman. Very sturdy back there. One of the Mountaineers tonight playing with a first time starter at goal in college at least. In West Virginia with possession. Yeah, Drummers plays it back to Gracia. Well, Kynan sends it up to the left side. Played back by Navarro. They'll be happy to play keep away at this point. Clock and scoreboard in hand right now. Found this very tactical tonight. It's been a impressive performance from the shorthanded team. Almost a little heavy, but able to be kept in. Treth away. Jurgensen looking for options to throw it in. Sent it to Dyson. Kicked away by Beckett out of bounds. Last touch by the Monarchs. I think we've got a whistle in the field. I think they're going to move this yeah, throw up a little bit a minute ago. Here we go. Jorgensen now. Well, Dominion's trying to get some wholesale subs in at the next 
chance they could get subs in. Hankel picks it up for the Monarchs after the throw in. Just trying to clear everybody out. Over to you, just trying to look for something positive here. For these final 26 40 for the big matchup next week against Marshall. And Deer. Players coming on him, drops it back to Christensen. Christensen with some space, can set up the left wing. Liam Thomas given chase. Can Thomas get there? Thomas able to keep it in bounds somehow. And now they're going to say out of bounds. Throwing coming up for the Mountaineers. Thomas doing that tightrope over there. Chase, good job by Deans to come up for Old Dominion, but unable to keep the possession. Trepid away, played it ahead, and he gets taken out. I don't think we're going to get a certainly going to get a penalty here. I don't know if we're going to get a card or not. We'll see. No, no cards, just spotting the ball. So free kick here coming up for. Mountaineers. It's four goal lead. <laughs> West Virginia again out of that scrum. Able to get it ahead to Caldaria. He's looking for that hat trick. Instead, he dumps it off to Burcell. He's got a goal himself. There's a cross to Trethaway, poked away, but a chance right of a doorstep by Navarro. It's taken away by Old Dominion. Good defense in the back end from the Monarchs. And Alexis Lementang with the defense of the back end. I think they got a push, too. Out of all that's going to go against West Virginia. So 24 minutes Pretty dope. left here in regulation. Mountaineers 4 nothing. Set up the left side by the Monarchs. Dorn giving chase. Booted away and out of bounds from West Virginia. So to you with some wholesale subs coming in right now. Four players coming in, including Tristan Jenkins, also 19, Owen Ruddy. West Virginia substitution number 17. And also 21, Nicola Missorelli coming in for ODU. Old Dominion substitution number 21, Nicola Missorelli in for number 8, Ron Mandir. For the Monarchs, Joshua Fox was trying to take it towards the box that had taken away and quickly booted away by the Mountaineers. Aaron Deans now here for Old Dominion. He's going to try to change fields with it. Sends it up towards a goal mouth, giving chase and missing. Landing hard. Wow. Bon Air. Up at Eberly. Boy, he really landed hard. Just keeping an eye on him, but he did get up okay after he's trying to make that head for ODU. Number 16 was able to get up after it. Jurgensen playing it back to Thiessen. Thiessen's going to wait with it. Moves it over to Gracia. 
The back end for the Mountaineers tonight, Agracia, Thiessen, and Jurgensen have been solid, rock solid, in front of the first time starter, Mark Bonair. Max Strathway has it taken away. By Misarelli. Jurgensen for Old Dominion. Excuse me, uh, Mark for Old Dominion. We'll throw it in. Twenty-one thirty to go with a four-nothing game. Sorelli plays ahead to. Taken away by the Mountaineers. The right side. West Virginia retreating a little bit here. They can afford to do that with that 4 nothing lead. Decent over here to Jorgensen. Plays it up to Trethaway. Dromers over to Bear. Bear's going to send it up the right wing. Purcell crosses it, blocked down by Old Dominion. On the back end, that was Christensen. Bear, now once again from the Mountaineers. Again, the possession has been very tilted for the guys from Morgantown tonight here in Norfolk against Old Dominion. But this is the kind of team they are and the way they play. And and Old Dominion has been chasing a lot tonight. With very little success most of the time. So check it in now. Zero Borla Yegi comes in Marcus for Marcus Calderia. Of course, Calderia with two first half goals. Got West Virginia off to a quick start here tonight. And they have not looked back. Gracia moving it up to Ole Kynan. He tries the right wing, but Purcell fell down. That wasn't Purcell. That was Yagi who just checked in that fell down. Play it back to Dominic Hankel. Joshua Fox with some time. He's going to send it up the right side. But once again, in the back end, it's Tyson who heads it away. Mr. Rowley, though, gets it back for Old Dominion, sends it over, and there's a cross that's going to be blocked. Holy Kynan was a good job back there for the Mountaineers. Now Jan Marp will come up, throw it in for Old Dominion. Here's a cross in front. Chance row to you, a header. It's going to be off the mark from Elberly. Old Dominion with a pretty good chance there. West Virginia substitution, number two, Alex Clayton in for number eight. More substitutions coming in for West Virginia as Alex Clayton comes in now. Mark Bonair will handle the goal kick. Christensen. 
Christensen over to Fox. Sends it ahead. Teeson's back there. Given chase, Jurgensen. Mr. Rowley, get it across, but no. Blocked away by the Mountaineers again. They just drop back. They're five guys back there defensively. Making it very difficult for this old Dominion attack to get anything or sustain anything for that matter. Here's an opportunity as Beckett has it. He's going to try to get it on his left foot, but he can as it's blocked away. Waited a little too long as. Gracia denied him from getting that shot off. Uh, might get a warning, if nothing else, maybe a card. And just a warning, a little bit of a push after the play. He's getting a little chippy here with about. 16 minutes coming up on the 16 minutes left in the game. Mountaineers up 4 0. Christensen over to Deans. Deans with a nice move to get some space. They're going to send it over here to the near side. Quickly run off of it. Joe Albritton couldn't really get anything going. Now it's going to be a throw in for the Mountaineers. That makes that a trip on the Monarchs. So it'll be a free kick for the Mountaineers. 15 and a half to go. Tyson sends it up and high. There's a push from behind on the Monarchs. Christensen. Yagi gets pushed down. <laughs> he said heads it back. Old Dominion Deans now. Looking for somewhere to go. Instead he drops it off. Beckett sends it up the right side. Who's there? Everly's giving chase. Not going to get there. Is kicked out of bounds by Tyson. I think we're going to get some Old Dominion subs coming in. And we are 29, Ryan. All right, I don't really have Old Dominion substitutions, number 29, Ryan Mahan. Ryan Mahan's going to come in. 16, also for the Monarchs, number 8, Ron Ron Mandir also back in the game for Old Dominion. So under 14 minutes to go in West Virginia in control here, four nothing. Monarchs trying to get some offense here in the late going, at least something to feel good about. Look at this goalless streak they've been involved in here over the last two and a half games. The two and a half games not scoring a goal, you'd like to see something going at some point if you're the Monarchs and Joshua Fox trying to make the best of that run. Ball's down in the Mountaineers here, but clear it out. Jurgensen to Bear. Bear drops it off to Hathaway, who gets tripped by Deans. And are we going to see our first card of the night? We do. So Aaron Deans, number 28 for Old Dominion. Gets the first card of the night. The yellow card issued to the twelve forty one left. So Frederick Jurgensen will take the 
free kick after the Dean's trip. Drummers going to come over. Maybe it's Drummers. We've seen this formation before. Usually Drummers ends up taking it. And Drummers and Deans. Nope. That time it was, in fact, Jurgensen. It's going to be offside, so. Dominic Hankel for Old Dominion will handle the kick. We're under 12 minutes left here. 4 nothing Mountaineers. Set it in the head. Deans with the throw in for the Monarchs. Jenkins giving chase, can't get there. And it's cleared out. Hone also in pursuit. West Virginia substitution. Mountaineers substituted 27 no gold. In for number 31. He's going to replace Bjarn Thiessen. With a tremendous game in the back end tonight. So Noah Gold in. Thiessen out for the night. And again, Mountaineers. Really solid defensively for the first time starter, Mark Bonaire, the redshirt sophomore, and goal tonight with the injury to uh, Jackson Lee, who started every game this season and played every minute this season at goal for them. Throwman coming up for the Mountaineers. Here's some more wholesale substitutions coming in for West Virginia. Well, that of herself is coming back in. Of course, has a goal and two assists. Otto Olakainen and in for number 23, Ryan Bear. Olakainen comes in and Dromers goes out. And the captain, Ryan Bear, is going to leave the field. Very strong tonight, midfield for them. The Mountaineers who have given me about a seven hour ride. Over here to Norfolk yesterday, and team that was coming in without their top two scores and their goalie, and played a tremendous match tonight. They're going to earn their first Sun Belt win over Old Dominion. For Old Dominion, you can't feel too sorry for yourself. You just got to try to regroup as you get ready next week for Marshall. A huge opportunity. You got to look at it that way on the road against a, a real good team, but. Old Dominion certainly capable, just did not have it tonight. Again, Mountaineers still have a chance to, to be the team to win this conference after their preseason pick, but rocky start against some good opponents. Might have cost them an at-large chance down the road, but certainly you can still be the team to win the Sun Belt before it's all said and done. In a quarterfinalist a year ago in the NCAAs, you can see why. I mean, most of that team is back. And certainly you can see why they were excited about that. What they had in front of them this year. You know, 14 returners from a team that was NCAA quarterfinalist. Mountaineers after the penalty allowed to you. Drop it off and give it chase for the Mountaineers is Yaji, but he has to retreat. Taken away by ODU. To Hal Britton. Tries to clear it out. Instead it's kept in by the Mountaineers. Slowly kind of will send it back to gold. 
Now Gracia. One of the other captains in this team. But the Navarro. Gold plays it back to Mark Bonaire. Centering it in and giving chases. Yaji. Yeah, run it down, kicked out of bounds by Old Dominion. So West Virginia still even in the closing West moments Virginia of this game, keeping the pressure on. Number 22, Sam Morgan in for number three, Frederick Jurgensen. Old Dominion substitution, number 22. Michael Schaefer in for number 19, Owen Wright. So substitutions coming in for both of these teams is we get some fresh bodies out there. Trethway, one last run in him. Gonna be last touch by Old Dominion. It's a corner kick coming up for the Mountaineers. 6.15 to go. Dominic Hankel. Goal for Old Dominion had to come in early in this game after the injury to Michael Statham after the second goal was scored. Statham's okay for the long run for the Monarchs. Been terrific this year and the goal for them. West Virginia sends it deep, headed out by Old Dominion. It cleared out by the Monarchs, but West Virginia, Trethway trying to keep the pressure on. He gets tripped up for a second, but the Mountaineers spread it out once again. Noah Gold. On air, boots it over here to the near side. Oh, the one other chance here for the Mountaineers, potentially another run at him. Sending it through, but good job by Deans to kick it away, but that's going to be a corner as Yaji's coming there and really putting the pressure on. Making runs up that side. Along with Burcell, who's been quite a playmaker tonight. A couple assists and the goal. He's going to take the corner. As West Virginia's bringing six players into the box. That's headed out by Old Dominion and volleyed out but blocked. There's a shot that doesn't get there. And now retreating on the Mountaineers. Finer coming way out of the goal just to pass it up. Trethaway passes it ahead to Sam Morgan. Sam Morgan up here on the left side. Drops it off to Burcell. Burcell with a pass, but is denied by Old Dominion. There's Miss Arelli for Odie. You get pushed from behind. So with four minutes and one second left, we've got the official blowing the whistle for a moment. Stopping the clock. Restarting it quickly on the Restart ODU. Send it ahead towards the goal mouth. Mandir given run. Headed away on the back end by the Mountaineers. Just like that, the Mountaineers trying to get some transition offense going. Here's Purcell, who's been so good tonight. He drops it off. He's got a man who's offside. Yeah. Got a little ahead of himself as Navarro. The linesman quickly. Had the flag up. So as we're under three and a half left. Mountaineers in control. Four nothing will be their first Sun Belt win. Prove their record to three, six and two as well. Old Dominion's gonna fall to four and four in one, one and one in the conference. Kynan. 
Denied, turns it away. Now coming up the right wing. Trying to get organized, the Mountaineers. Yaji is coming and giving them a little bit of a spark here. These latter moments. Just Bon Air misplays it for a second. He's still trying to play it. Now he kicks it away. Wow. He almost kicked it into himself. That was interesting. It was really the first crack of the armor tonight from the first time starter. But now West Virginia on the move. Navarro kind of whiffed on it, but has a player out there. Now Navarro giving a chase on the right side. He's got. Christensen on him. Descada with a cross headed away from Old Dominion. Oh, and falling down with a pretty good run there. West Virginia, we got a timeout on the field for a second. On your substitution, number 12, Joseph Piafora. And for number 17, Guitaro Sakata. So it's good to see Toscata back there. He's leaving now. But uh, he'd fallen down earlier, chasing a ball, and had to hop off the field. So he was able to come back and play some minutes for West Virginia just to probably make sure that he was okay. And the Mountaineers are going to have probably a shorter field to that ride home with this win tonight. Here comes the goal kick for the Monarchs in ODU now. Coming into the game, had a two and a half game goalless drought. And that could be now three and a half One after minute, tonight minute. if they don't get something here in the final minute. Well, Dominion's last goal was when they had four of them in the first half of that win over VCU. And since then, a Nil-nil draw with James Madison, that one nothing loss to Maryland last week, last Friday to be exact, and now tonight down 4 nothing with 30 ticks in the clock ticking, and without possession, doesn't look likely they're going to get one tonight. And then the daunting task of at Marshall a week from tonight, followed by a game against South Carolina, back here at Old Dominion. Ten, nine, so down eight, the final tick to this seven, one. Been an impressive six, one for the five, visiting Mountaineers four, from West Virginia, the three, team that was picked two, to win the one. Sun Belt in the preseason. Got off to a rocky start to the year, but tonight with perhaps a momentum changing win, we'll see how the season plays out. But as uh, Coach eight, Alan Dawson of Old Dominion said, this could be a moment grabbing kind of game tonight for both of these teams. And certainly West Virginia, West Virginia was the team that grabbed that moment tonight 